this video i am going to show you how you can install xamp on your mac and i will also show you how you can solve the directory creation problem that many of you guys are having when create when using wordpress on your xamp in your macbook pro so if you are that person who is having that sort of problem and uh, you want a solution this video will solve all your problems so before i get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get all the updates and let's do this okay so the first thing that you need to do is to go to uh, go to apachefriends.org and uh, install the latest version of xamp which is this one 7.3.1 so today is february 11th 2019 and this is the latest version uh, 7.3.1 for o uh, for xamp which is built for os so i have uh, already downloaded it on my macbook so uh, if you want to you can pause this video right now and uh, go to this link and download this one and once you do continue watching this video i have already mentioned this link in the description so you can just go and click it and you will be you will see this page right away so i hope that you are done with uh, uh, install downloading this uh, uh, so Z this version of xamp for mac and once you do all you have to do just click open and the installation file will open which is a dot dmg file and as you can see it is verifying the file and you will see this uh, option and just double click it while you are installing this um, xamp or you you also need to okay so yeah open so while you are installing um, installing this uh, app on your on your mac you can uh, in the meantime you can also download the wordpress file that you will need to install wordpress on xamp so you need to go to this website wordpress.org slash download slash um, uh, just <laughs> wordpress.org slash download so go to this page and just click uh, click this button and it will download the latest version of wordpress which i have done already so while we are doing it also start the download the wordpress download process as well it will save you a lot of work so let's get get back to installing xamp so this is the uh, menu play you get while you are, while you are installing xamp on your mac so yeah i want both so next and okay application okay and okay learn more about xamp i don't want to next uh setup is now ready okay so click next and the uh, process will begin and if you are uh, if you want to you can pause the video right now and when the Zam when xamp is done installing i will continue uh, i will continue the video again okay so uh the install xamp installation is done so let's launch xamp so now you see this uh, this the menu right here and from here what we need to do is that first we need to go to manage server and then we need to start mysql database and start apache web server in the meantime all or you can also there's something that you can also do which is you click this one open application folder and here you see that it is under application xamp and xamp files so here what you need to do is that you need to go to htdocs and uh, in htdocs you have you we will create a folder where we will paste wordpress and from there we'll uh, install and start using wordpress from there so from here what you need to do is that i have already downloaded the file right here and from here uh, for convenience uh, what you can do you can just copy it from here and you can go to the folder uh, the folder where you can find them but the easiest way is to click here so you are uh, you are on same files then from this folder you go to uh, you find a folder called htdocs and just paste it right here and you also unzip it to save more time in future so now you have the wordpress file ready right so let's start our let's uh, create uh, our first uh, wordpress website on xamp so let's make uh, let's give it a name which is web1 so in web1 just go to your wordpress folder copy everything 
and just paste it if you you can create hundreds of websites in your uh, using XAMPP so that you know all you have to do is create uh, different folders like web1 web2 web3 and any name and just paste the files right here so uh, I am pretty sure like you guys are uh, you everyone is following me from uh, till this point and if you have any question you have the comment section just go there and comment and if there is any problem definitely I will try my best to solve it so let's see if the servers have started or not okay so uh, we have tried couple of times to uh, to start my SQL database and Apache web server so the problem that I've found that if, if some of you are having problem installing or uh, starting my SQL database if it is not starting then all you have to do is just click here on my SQL database go to configure and if there is some other port move it to 8080 and click OK and when you click the start option it will take you a few seconds and it will start so as you can see it is running so we are not going to uh, uh, bother about Apache web server for now because we only need uh, my skills uh, for now so to check if it is working or not go to local host and PHP my admin so as you can see you are in your PHP my admin right now now all you have to do is create a database which we will use to install a fresh copy of WordPress so let's give it a name let's give it db1 you need to remember this uh, and exactly as it is because as you can see I have used O as capital you have to when you are adding this database to your WordPress installation you have to mention it exactly as it is I am gonna copy it create so uh, now as it is done uh, go here go to welcome and open application folder so in here um, go to uh, exam files and from here uh, find the htdocs okay uh, it's right here so from htdocs go to web1 and as we are going to install wordpress on this folder go to web1 and from here uh, find us find this file called wp-config-sample so uh, open with I am using sublime text you can use any sort of note edit note uh, note uh, text editor I am using sublime text because this one is my favorite so uh, DB name which is called as database name we mentioned it as DB1 username username should be root and then password we don't need to ha use any password right now and click save or control or command s on mac so that's about it uh don't do when you are doing this do remember not to delete any of these marks which is here and here don't delete this or else the file is not gonna work or installation is not gonna work so again database name the one that you have given database user should be root and password should be blank okay so command s save we close it and then we have to rename it so from wp config sample we have to rename it to wp config and click enter so it is done so now remember the folder name which is w which is web1 so now all you have to do is type localhost slash web1 and press enter and as you can see we are now on our menu where we using which we can uh, install wordpress so give it a name web1 um, let's give it web1 username admin and password admin as i have told you on my previous video as well don't use admin admin as password id uh, sorry as username and password when you are creating or installing wordpress on a live server it is okay because uh, we are doing it on a local host but don't do it on on a live server or your hosting or else you might get hacked because this is a really generic one and yeah i am not encouraging anyone to use something like admin admin or admin at the rate of admin.com so as i've said it is on localhost so it's okay so install pa install wordpress we have to wait for a while and it is done so login so as you remember we have used admin as user and admin as password 
so now it's on so that's how you install wordpress on your website on your local host or on your macbook using xamp so if you have not done this just pause this video right now and do this till now and once you do then we move on so i hope you have done it and you have you are currently on this page which is uh, wordpress admin area so from now on there are some people or there are some users uh, or who have or who have commented on my last video that they are having problem create uh, with wordpress that they have installed on samp and let me show you what the problem is so you go to plugins let's go for add new and let's install uh, as you can see it is not working it is saying that they need ftp credentials now and they and uh, without that they are not able to install a uh, plugin so same thing will happen if you go to themes and here if you click install same thing and same happens for the pages and posts as well so why this sort of stuff happens the best way to find it out is when you click install you see this uh, this problem right so what you need to do is that uh, mm, there's a code that you need to add on your wp config which will help you to uh, partially solve this problem and there will be a second step that will help you to fully uh, solve this problem so we have to write a code okay so uh, this is the code that you have to add on your wp wp config file to uh, this is the first step to solve this problem so let us go to our wp config for config file uh, which is uh, which is on htdocs web1 wp config and from here we uh, open it with sublime text and on this section which is just above the mysql setting you put this code which is define fs method uh, comma direct and then semicolon so this is the code so when you add it just click ctrl s uh, sorry command s and it will save the save the code on wp config and then you just refresh the page that you are in and click install and you wait and you will see this error which is called installation failed could not create directory this is a problem because your the folder which is called htdocs and the xam folder does not have the permission to write any new file within that system because and in mac this is actually for to secure macbook so it's not a error or not uh, not a fault for xamp this is something that uh, any linux based uh, soft any linux based uh, of a machine or mac will do to safeguard it from any kind of uh, uh, virus attacks so you have to give this uh, give, give the that folder read and write permission which you can easily do it so the best way to do it uh, there are a lot of technical ways you can do and but the best way that i found is that you just copy this code i'll put the i'll put all this in the description so don't need to worry uh, just uh, watch me fix this problem and once you feel confident you can do it too so you just do it and then you open your terminal and it's on just paste it and enter and you will be asked for your password do it and it's done so when you see that it's done all you have to do just uh, turn off terminal refresh it and let's see if it is working or not because i am pretty confident that it is because i have done it uh, today like two or three times and i am confident that it would work so as you can see it is installed so remember when the, the last time we tried to install plugins in our wordpress website and it didn't work so let's see if it is working now or not 
and in the meantime let's open a page so that we can create a page as well see it is working so click activate and voila see it is activated as well and let's go for pages so uh, here um, just say is a brand new page and here you write welcome this is working great job and do subscribe if this method works so click publish and let's see if it is working or not see it is working and when we click uh, mm, it is working and uh, let's see if uh, uh, if we if, let's make a page to make sure that it is really working so this is one uh, let's go to appearance let's go to menu uh, let's name it main and in main let's add all the pages and add to menu and save menu and this is also a problem like there are a lot of people who are saying that when they click the uh, when they uh, uh, cre added the pages as a menu and when they click it there was some error with uh, wordpress it is all related to the directory creation problem that i have shown you guys and now you know how to solve it so now you are a badass so don't need to worry mm, uh, let's choose another thing let's choose this one okay this one is activated uh, we refresh it and it's now here so it's a brand new page so when you click it see it's a brand new page and we click the sample page this is a sample page and we click the home page home page so congratulations and well done if you have followed this video I am pretty sure now you know how to install WordPress on your Mac and now you can um, easily use them to create hundreds and thousands of local WordPress installations on your MacBook and you can do all sorts of uh, experimentation with it. So yeah, there many people will say that uh, ZAMP doesn't work, MAMP will work, which is not true. ZAMP actually work and I have shown you how to how this uh, how it is done. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and if you don't and if you ha still face any problem just go to comment section and mention it i will definitely try my best to come up with a new video or solve your problem in the comment section so thank you very much my name is anik and i'll see you on the next one until then take care bye bye if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and on the comments below do let me know what you think about this video and as a surprise here is another video that i think really love so subscribe to my channel and my name is anik i'll see you on the next one until then take care